Apologies for the delayed intro. I was sending a rather important text message. Nelson Stein back here with another Fishing Planet video. It's been a while. Um, as I said, I probably wouldn't be a consistent uploader. Um, me and a group of friends are currently doing the Cockeye Pigs group. Um, it's something we've carried on from GTA and Red Dead. It's just a gaming group name we came up with, just for the shits and giggles. Um, right, so we're here on Fishing Planet, and um, I'm about to change the audio, I think. Um, I'm just going to change the balance, if I can. Don't think I can. So, I wonder if there's a way I can take out the audio. Okay, there is. Perfect. It can be a bit more subtle than that. Right, okay. So, I'm going to be trophy hunting because I've been watching a lot of fishing programs recently about catching the biggest fish, well, in the world. And that got me thinking about the game because Fishing Planet is meant to be the ultimate fishing simulator, as it's advertised. So, I talked with quite a few of the top members of the community, a couple of the guys who hold some of the records in the game, and when you balance how many people actually play the game, Fishing Planet has had billions of fish caught between all the players, but only about 100, 200,000 of them have been unique. Big when it comes to a fish species. Uh, trophies are, of course, um, the main one, the main sort of big fish, but the uniques are the ones above that. They are the really really heavy ones the ones that you see uh, on the leaderboards uh, and the ones you see that people showing off having caught because they are really rare and they are a pain in the ass to catch so today we're going to try a little experiment um, we're going to go trophy hunting in the Nerin we're going to make a bit of money there because I've only got 16,000 in the bank. I've been a bit wasteful recently. We're going to save up some money. We're going to get an advanced license for Quanchkin. And then we're going to go fishing for the unique flathead catfish. And we might even go for some of the other species there if we get a bit bored. The alligator gar, um, if you didn't know this already. On Fishing Planet, the alligator gar is the biggest fish, well, biggest potential sized fish out there. Uh, the top 100 fish overall caught in the game that weighed the most have all been alligator gar. Not a single catfish nor muskie has got on the list. All of them have been the alligator gar. They are the biggest fish in the game and they do not go to a unique level, however. But still, the trophies are big enough. We'll probably go for the smallmouth buffalo because these fish are really easy to catch, and I mean really easy to catch. Um, they are basically lazy carp, so we might go for some of these small ones just to catch uniques for the sake of it. But it is difficult. You have to get this the the hook of the size of the hook right. You've got to get the bait right. You've got to get the location right because this is a fishing simulator, and you've got to know your shit. But this is what we're going for. We're going for the unique flathead catfish. I'm just going to show you on the Quanchkin menu. It's the same bait, same lures. I've never caught a, a flathead catfish on a lure. Uh, I have only caught them on small minnows, medium cut bait and shiners. So you have to invest to catch the big ones. Um, this is where I will say Fishing Planet. It's a free game, but there's you can't do everything without a little help. The membership is incredibly expensive and I do condemn them for making it so expensive because it offers little perks. 
However, some of the bundles that they offer, like the DLC packs with rods and gear, uh, are actually significantly useful. Um, as I shall show you here, uh, it didn't give me a good float fishing line, but if you want a really good spinning rod, um, they provide you with these two rods uh, in the Golden Dragon pack, which is uh, up, which is usually uh, purchased for about uh, twenty pounds. Uh, I think that works out to about 26, 27 bucks. It's probably cheaper than that in the States, however. Um, so we have this rod, which can handle up to 23 pounds, effectively. Um, very powerful rod, but this is our main rod that we got from the pack. A reel that can handle 42 pounds and a rod that can handle 46. Um, doesn't sound like it's that good but that's in fact for this game very very good anything over the 40 pound mark is basically the equipment you catch the biggest fish on the game with but that's how difficult it gets when it comes to fishing if you want to catch those massive fish they do put up a fight regardless of how good your equipment is so in that sense also realistic because there's not some magic rod that can reel in a 100 pound fish willy-nilly you've got to put up a fight and uh, even though I haven't had that chance on this rod yet I will be using it in Quanchkin and I will be trying to catch a trophy alligator gar so we're gonna have a really interesting day today um, I will show you my current stats so I'll let you know how big a deal this is um, so far we've got a couple of fish over 20 pounds quite a few over 15 I've caught a lot of trophies, I've caught some uniques, um, as you can see on the side I have caught 40 uniques out of the 4,300 uh, 4, fish that I've caught. So when you do the maths, there, that means there is a 0.01% chance of me catching a unique. So this video could end up being quite shitty, um, <laughs> but at the same time since I bought the pack I have doubled the amount of trophies I, I've caught, I can tell you that right now, and a couple of those uniques definitely came uh, from the new equipment as well so probably our odds are looking a little bit better than that right now um, these are the fish we're going to try to avoid um, because they are really boring um, as you can see they're caught on bread and basically it's 30 seconds and that includes the smallmouth buffalo that's a big tip by the way for those of you that want a lot of XP right at the start of the game uh, at Lone Star Lake there is a ditch which I've shown in a previous video uh, if I feel like I need a little bit more bait money I might start in Lone Star today before I go to the Nerin um, show you the hole and if you throw in bread at the right depth you can catch the smallmouth buffalo uh, which are the big uh, Lone Star they can grow up to uh, just over three pounds um, I've not seen one near four pounds being caught there I believe let me tell you um, I used to fish there all the time before I bought the gear because I wanted to graft out money because uh, it is expensive to travel in the game if you don't have the good gear you've got to go back to the starting ones to graft out some money so here we go uh, I as I said lost count of how many times I've been fishing in Lone Star but uh, the biggest smallmouth buffalo I have caught is a five and a half pounder or 5.6 uh, I want you to ignore these historic ones because this was a whole uh, Independence Day thing for the Americans. Um, the 1796 thing. They don't exist anymore which is a shame. Um, because they were good for XP but at the same time having said that they didn't give you any money. So it was you didn't keep them you had to put them back. Um, yeah, these are all the small ones that I'm not bothered by at all. Um, this is my main unique. I'm, I'm very proud of this. It doesn't look good at uh, 3.6 pounds. 3.8 uh, pounds, sorry. 6.8. God, I'm terrible today. This was uh, very difficult to reel in, actually. Um, but nevertheless... Um, definitely worth it. 
So yeah, these are definitely the fish we're going to be going for today. We are definitely going uh, for the blue catfish later on. We are definitely going for the catfish immediately. And we are going for an alligator gar. And as you can see, I have not caught one. Um, so I'm looking to make a lot of personal records here today myself. Um, and it's going to be possibly quite tedious. So, we're going to have a look at the baits. What have I got for baits right now? Um, well, okay, I'm using eggs, so I must have been trout fishing, which I was because I was at Rocky Lake. So I'm going to put on a size 5 hook, my favorite hook to use here. We're going to put on shiners, and because they're heavy, we're going to have to use that, a bigger float. And just like that, we are equipped for catfishing. <laughs> Catfish fishing. <laughs> um, right, so because of where we're planning to go, I'm going to organize my baits accordingly. So we don't need the natural eggs. Don't need them. We don't need bloodworms. Anything that involves trout, we're not going to be using today. So mayflies... We'll get rid of them. Flies, we'll get rid of them. Uh, so what have we got? We've got crawfish. Excellent. These are all very good baits. Frog. That could probably catch us a big one, actually. Uh, yep. Yeah. I'm sorry if uh, you're a beginner and all the baits I'm showing you aren't useful and you can't get them yet, but... I'm sorry, when you're going for the big ones, this is how you catch them. Um, you'll get the odd lucky break, and they are fun. Um, but if you want to consistently have a chance of trying to catch one, because at least during this video, I can guarantee I will catch at least one trophy with, with the gear I'm using. At least one trophy. Um, but catching the uniques is going to be uh, something else. So we're carrying 32 shiners, and that's the only bait I'm really planning on using for, to get money. So we are going to go to the Neren. And I've just noticed this, uh, in case people think I'm full of shit. At the start, I did say I wasn't a member, so the premium thing might throw you off. Um, but I assure you, the only reason um, I have premium is because I got a week's worth uh, with the pack I got, as you can see, the licenses that came with it expire in two days' time when I bought the pack. Um, so I am not a premium member. Um, I just am temporarily. The advanced license here, though, I did get uh, whenever I had the chance to earn bitcoins. I would save them up and get the licenses for the lower lakes. So I always had a cheap, reliable source to get, as I said before, bait money. So, we are going to use shiners. The weather forecast is absolutely dire. Day 2 looks pretty good, so we may just add another day. Just in case we don't get what we're looking for. Okay, so we are going to add another day. 4,000, so we are going to want to catch, well, at least $4,000 worth of fish. Which will mean... Let's see, times five. Yeah, we're going to need to catch at least eight decent flathead catfish. Um, we'll probably catch some odd long nose gar. I may change it up, try to catch something else, but we are going for the flathead catfish because they're the biggest fish in the Neren River. So let's do this. Two days in the Neren. Go and eat point. Don't use kayaks. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Not bothered. Rivers don't need kayaks. So Quanchkin is definitely the place to catch the biggest flathead catfish. But if you want to learn about them a little bit, this is where you go. The only other place they're available. I can't be arsed with other people because they irritate me. Uh, <laughs> I only like um, people who are just really relaxed, sharing tips, whatever. Um, I don't like when people just ask me for tips and it's like thanks and then they come to my spot and they get it all up in my screen it's just irritating it's so much better just to have people added in game as a friend because that's different from actually being like a PSN friend 
um, and you can message each other even if you're at different lakes. So I'll say it again, I am definitely not sponsoring uh, Fishing Planet by trying to sell things, but if you do want to make money, in the early stages, you need to buy a pack. Because this fish fort, the £330 max, it's double what I originally had, um, which means my profits can be doubled. And right now, profits are easy for me as I have the week's premium, so the fish value is increased. Um, but once that wears off, I need that extra weight. Uh, I forgot to check which, what depth I had this set to, so that was a bad idea. Because the depth here is quite crucial. If you had followed me uh, where I go and you, uh, where I I have gone, you come to this spot, uh, rubble, rubble of old times. Um, this is where you spawn. Looking out here, I want you to walk back here. And then come under this tree in the shade because this is the flathead catfish territory and we are too shallow at 40, 40 inches, way too shallow. We're going to go to 55 inches in depth. We want to cast out around this area. If you want to cast out this far it's fine because it's a river, it flows. But we don't want it on that side of the river. We want it here, see? The big ripples. That's what we're after. That's what we're after. So I usually like to cast between 50 to 35 feet. Um, I usually to like to keep a bit of slack because some of the catfish can really have you on, you know, drag you around, make the line tight. They can be they can be irritating, but when they are hungry, they bite hard. Um, there's no real specific time of the day, but I have found straight away in the morning has been quite good. So here we go. We are now ready. Let's do this. I think I cast it too far. Yeah. This, in my opinion, the sweet spot is 40. With a little bit of slack. And that's why, because immediately, float is drifting to the right against the tide. And that's why those ripples. And that's a fish, straight away. Look at that. Magic spot. It's don't know if this is the one we're looking for, but it is putting up a fight, which is always a good sign for it being over 15 pounds. Yeah, it's a catfish. That's what we like to see. And it's not that far out, so your struggles don't last long. And that is a perfect bloody start. And in fact... Uh... Is that the biggest fish I've ever caught? No, it's about two pounds off the biggest fish I've caught, which was a flathead catfish in here. So that's a pretty good start. Um, I'm quite a chump when it comes to taking photographs with things. Um, I do like catching trophies. So here's another one for the record books. I like catching things over 30. So that is a damn good start. And as you can see, nearly $900 for the fish. And with the max weight of my fish for it, I could catch 10 more of these. And my, and my well, at that weight and at that price, I'd be leaving with just under $9,000. Uh, so I would, I would make a profit of pretty much double what I invested in coming here. Definitely worth it. And that will cover, of course, uh, bait replacement. And, oh man. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy. This is a good start. Um. I did expect to catch at least one trophy, as I said, but uh, I really wasn't expecting it to be straight away. So let's hope we can nail 40 feet on the dot. Ah, a little bit short, but it'll do. <coughs> We're still within the sweet spot, but only just. I've cast on 35 feet. I have caught the odd one closer, but... As I said, between 50 and 35 really is the sweet spot. The closest I've caught one is probably about 27, but that very rarely happens. The catfish are definitely over 35 feet away, but not too far. It's a little channel right in the center of the river. And something's pushing our float again. The line's twitching. You could use a bigger hook if you want more consistent results of the big fish because I will catch ones around uh, the 15 pound mark. 
um, but I don't recommend it until you're in Quanchkin. And there's number two. <laughs> and we've got another one on the line. It's not fighting like a catfish, though. Okay, now it is. Usually you can tell by the fighting style of the fish what it is. For example, when you're in white moose, uh, the trout sort of jet off, whereas the pike kind of come in waves of strength. You know, they sort of like strong wave, low wave. Uh, and that is a 21 pound, we'll call it a 21 pound fish. Um, it's all right. It's all right, isn't it? Uh, it's a good length. Very good length. Um, but yeah, it's uh, not the fish we're looking for. If any we're looking for a fish over 32 pounds for here, obviously we're here just to make our money. Um, but I am in very much in favor of breaking my personal record here and then going on to Quanchkin and breaking my record again. So, I've, okay, I take it back. I've got to catch a 33-pound flathead. Can't get much closer to 33-pound, can you? Uh, and that I obviously caught yesterday. So, pretty fresh. Was it yesterday or the day before? Oh, well. Either way, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for a 33-pound catfish, and this is the place we're going to find it. And this is the bait you use. There are others that work, but this, as you have seen consistently, has been brilliant. Two fish and two casts. 41. Okay, we'll move slightly to the right to give it a bit of slack. Ah, no, it's too far. I'm going to have to... Yeah, there we go. Much better, right on the ripple. Right. Keep it straight. Either I've just cast out of current, or there's something messing with us already. Because my float is not moving. Okay, now it is. Now it stopped it. Okay, we've got attention already, and it's pulling. Look at that, it's pulling. But it's pulling. It's got the bait. But it hasn't ran yet. I might need to give it an extra two feet, just in case. If you're wondering what I'm doing at the bottom right of my screen, I'm adjusting the reel. Uh, I feel if I have it at a three, that's a good, that's a good pace to reel in when you're trying to strike. Also gains you that little bit of extra ground right at the start. And uh, if you have the line too tight all the time, then obviously it will come closer to you in a river rather than uh, continue down the path because obviously the line will tighten and increase the uh, decrease the radius in which the line is able to move. Or the bait is able to move, I should say. Um, so it's nice to keep slack in the river. And that's number three, right on the ripple. Again, I don't think this is a trophy, but I could be wrong. I'm not the best guesser. I'm usually good at knowing what fish it is, but I'm not good at predicting size all that well. Because you get spunky fish, because some of them, even though they can weigh a lot less, they can be the same length, which can make them just as bad as the big ones sometimes. And catfish, the flatheads have a really consistent size. And we've got another magic. And see, that one put up a fight, and that's the smallest one of the day. Uh, and it's about just over an inch shorter uh, than the fish. In fact, hang on. It's two inches shorter than a fish that weighed way more than this, I believe. How long, how long was that trophy we caught? Okay, the, yeah, there's a less than a three inch difference between a flathead catfish that weighs 17 and a half 
and the trophy that weighs nearly 31 pounds only as mad less than three inches i mean you think about how small three inches is um so yeah flat heads aren't ever easy um unless of course you have the maxed out gear <laughs> but um at this time when you're using a rod like mine which is can hold up to 22 pounds and a reel that can take up to 20 pounds these fish are the pushing the limit for sure and I reckon I could catch a unique on this gear from how I've been able to deal with these 30 pound trophies hence why we are doing it so we have caught three fish and we have already made back half of what we spent coming here so I was wrong it won't take eight fish to make a profit it will only take us six to make a decent profit and our net will probably be just over half full yeah we, we could leave with a good bit good bit of money for bait and then yeah yeah we, we should definitely stay here until we fill the net or at least make a profit and then I'll show you the spot on Lone Star and then we'll have a look at that uh, advanced license for Quanchkin where we will try to catch the biggest of the big there will be a small break after I go to Lone Star um, because I don't want the video to be ridiculously long um, so I will make the separate video for Quanchkin Lake uh, trophy hunting uh, that will that will be an instant stream probably 20 minutes half an hour after this one's uploaded um, not got much to do today and I'm in the mood for fishing planet <laughs> got a couple of the high level gamers as I've said um, if you join the fishing planet community uh, on well in the community section on PSN uh, you will find us <coughs> you obviously already know uh, my username and if you don't already it's the Dan Nelson uh, 911 uh, 911 as I've been told to say it <laughs> I get why I get why I didn't think about it when I when I chose it at the time um, yeah and a couple of the guys that you will see there hold some of the records for the biggest fish uh, most competition wins um, they're they're really sound bunch of guys that will give you advice even if you're a low level they'll tell you the best way to do it at that level because everyone just wants everyone to be at the top level so we can all enter the uh, the fishing tournaments and catch up the biggest fish because it, it's fun isn't it it's sport it's it's hunting there's there's something else to fishing that just I prefer to normal sports yeah it can be competitive and obviously if you're that person go into competitions um but the reward of patience is something you know in in other forms of hunting you see something you shoot it you can you can do that in fishing <coughs> but in my opinion i find this satisfying putting it in watching learning how rivers work learning how fish work their habits it's and to have a game which encapul encapsulates it so well um, is brilliant, especially after their uh, fuck up a couple of months ago. Because uh, I actually stopped playing this for quite a while because they un they released an update which, incidentally, ended up uh, reducing the spawn rate or the catch rate of um, fish, proper fish, and everyone was starting to get a little hacked off. Uh, then they brought out a Halloween fish which was very glitchy, uh, but I didn't have it at the time. I was just looking at pictures. Um, <coughs> hang on <sighs> I've got crumbs on my laptop for some reason I don't even eat over it <laughs> it's probably my girlfriend well I completely lost my train of thought so I'm sorry for wasting your time with that sentence if it comes back to me then whoopee oh no I remember yeah uh, they nerfed the fish basically it got boring for a while um, but they bounced back with the recent update a couple of weeks ago uh, and the game has been better than ever graphically and just in for being enjoyable um, people have caught a lot of the good fish 
<coughs> it's back to its normal rates of pretty rare to catch the best of the best um, but absolutely good fun to catch even the medium sized big fish and not just have small ones take the big bait because that was what was happening um, bluegill were taking shiners on a size 5 hook like I'm doing right now yeah bluegills things that weighed half a pound normally and over a pound if they were a trophy you know it's, it's nothing um, on gear which I'm currently catching 30 pound fish on it was it wasn't odd then I came back saw the dragon pack which had been out for a while learnt the specs which I wanted to do first because I didn't just want to buy stuff which was cosmetically nice I wanted better gear and that was the right choice so again I'll say out of all the packs the golden dragon is by far the best one <coughs> and there are some that are ludicrously more expensive and trust me they're not worth it this is the one you need this gives you what you need to take you up to level 40 at a good rate might be our first cast when we don't catch anything because even though there's some attention we are now in the air the hot spot sort of ends haven't mentioned it because we haven't got there yet um, but here we are we're past the main ripples there is something interested <coughs> but we're getting to the point where it can be rather irritating where something is constantly there oh hang on I jinxed it well this is rare uh, but it's not a catfish that's why it's a small mouth bass which I'll take it's valuable um, for little weight it's valuable because don't get me wrong the flathead catfish not a valuable fish I'm just going for it because well I want to catch big fish <coughs> it, I, I, I did the math before I made the video Right, 39, pretty much on my favorite spot. 39, 40, 41. That is a huge ripple. That was a trophy ripple. That was massive. All these little ones you see, not actually rain. Those are actually little fish ripples. If you drop... Actually, hang on. Oh, no, you can't see them. Sometimes if you look carefully in some of the lakes, you can actually see the small fish on the shore. In fact, actually, you can. You can see, you can see the odd one, the odd flash in the water. Um, you can just dunk it in there. All the ripples are important. Don't, don't ever dismiss the ripples as just an, an effect. They are your guide. They are a huge guide. You can you can be walking through this. This is how I find this spot. You know, I was looking under the tree. <coughs> and I thought shaded. I'd probably catch um, some of the shad. Because at the time I was actually fishing for the American shad. Um, which is an average size fish. <coughs> but yeah, I saw these massive ripples and I thought jackpot threw in the shiner and caught my first flathead and I realized it was because of the ripples then I applied the same logic to other lakes and it never let me down so the ripples very important once again sort of exiting the hot spot but getting significantly tighter right there because something just thought about it something's still thinking about it Right, we're going to keep it tight, just for a little bit. But we're not going to let it come too close to the bank, as I have warned, is a risk. There's definitely something there. But at this point, it may not be a catfish because it is taking so long to hook. Because little fish, they will they will play with it all over and over again, and it will say... When, once you've had enough and you reel it in, it will say you pulled the bait uh, too far away from the fish and you didn't get it. It's really annoying. But at the same time, the fish that are trying to take the bait <coughs> are too small to take the hook. 
again another factor which again quite accurate the fish are still trying to take the food but they can't swallow the hook so you do never hook them okay we're going to take it down to 39 and that's why fish on and again it is not a catfish it's another smallmouth so right so see literally right outside the hot spot as soon as you come away from like this middle bit <coughs> as soon as you pass this middle bit the catfish are just very rare and it's these guys and occasionally largemouth more so at night though so we've caught another smallmouth not what we were going for at all and it slowed down our earning quite a lot. We are only at 2,500. It's taking a lot less time than expected. I'm, just, I'm happy we caught the trophy straight away now. Because, uh, <laughs> you know, at least now I don't look stupid. Because right now it's um, gone downhill rather fast. I did say the weather was crap. Uh, and seeing as I am leaving a big gap uh, in between videos, I could skip until the next day where there is a more consistent rise of when the fish are active rather than just a constant descent as it has on this day it, it and that is very important as well the weather just the more you take into account the little details the more likely you will catch those fish in the low percentages because you've covered more if you get what I mean. So it's like the more research you do, the more likely you are to find that one fish, the one unique, which is kicking around on that day. I very rarely see more than one unique caught on uh, by the same person uh, in a day. For sure. I mean, even guys who are trophy hunting, you see them, they pull out uh, a unique. Everyone goes, what a fish, you know, because it is, they are usually quite good to see. Uh... Trophy, 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 trophy leaves. And, you, yeah, I've, again, ne I'm pretty sure I've never seen someone catch more than one unique in one sitting at a lake. Uh, I've certainly not caught more than one unique in a day. So I was almost distracted there. That feels like a catfish. This is what we're after. This is what we're after. Yeah back in business with the smallest one yet <laughs> Fuck. fuck's sake oh well we're back on the flatheads though which is good I'm tempted to change the depth but I don't think I should because it has been working so I can't really complain So at 42, just a tiny bit outside my comfort zone, but we are in the hot spot. I may have over-exaggerated before when I said that 35 to 50 was the hot spot. That's only going off of other people's uh, videos. My hot spot is by far between 35 and uh, 43. Um, and that sounds oddly specific because I think it is. I probably could, again, catch fish over there, but it's this spot. It's just around the 40 mark is just is brilliant. I mean, you saw it, you know. Straight away, a trophy, we've caught some pretty decent fish. And uh, there's only been one or two casts where we've not caught a fish at all. I've only used uh, six pieces of bait, which would have cost me $600. So we add that to the to the overall. Right now, we're looking at about five thousand we've already earned half that back and uh, two of these fish would cover the bait in fact one the big one that I'm looking for from one of these could get me that bait we may move to a slightly bigger hook though to just decrease our chances of catching these uh, 15 to 20 pounders and we're in. Okay, this is another light one. It's not putting up much of a fight. Jinxed it. Yep, just a little. It's 
go to kick. Come on. Come to Papa. Okay, almost 22 pounds. Slight improvement. $600 on that fish. And our net, just over a third full. And that's probably us now sitting at, yeah, three and a half grand. So, another two or three fish and that's it. <coughs> Another three fish and we're in the profit margin, bait included. So, if you've got the net, then I recommend catfish fishing. But uh, if you are looking for tips on how to, you know, just grind and get more money, then I will, I have uploaded videos like that and I will upload videos like that, but this video is definitely not that. This one, we're looking at profit margin just so we can, as I said previously, go to Quanchkin later on. And catch trophies, of course, which is the goal. Once we've caught maybe enough fish, it'll probably just be me on my own filling up the rest uh, to break even. But right now, profits don't bother me because I know I can go to Lone Star and within 10 minutes catch 15 largemouth bass which earns me about 3,000 bucks. And with the current licenses, I can go to uh, San Hequain, I can go to St. Croix, uh, or Falcon Lake, and in one of those three places, I can easily make uh, $15,000 uh, without filling my net. <coughs> so... We're approaching the end of the hot spot again. This is our last chance to catch a catfish from this cast. Statistically. Something's definitely holding on to it. Okay, now it's let go. And now it's pulling again. It's against the current. That's what we like to see. A bit of power. Okay, let's question it a bit. Let's bring it a bit closer to 35. It's hanging around around the 33 feet mark. It's just sitting there. It's letting it go. It's grabbing it again. Okay. Now we start letting the line back out. Okay. It was almost an accident. Yeah, something is definitely playing with that shiner, but it's small and it's not taking the hook. There we go. Well, it was a catfish. I wasn't expecting that. Oh my god, that was almost a that was almost a personal best. Holy cow. Well, it's our second trophy of the day. <coughs> 29 in th uh, 49 inches. That might be the longest catfish I've ever caught. Might not be the heaviest, but this could be the longest. So a 32 pounder, we're happy with that, a thousand dollars for a fish, we're happy with that. So outside of the hot spot, we have just caught our biggest catch of the day, um, very unexpected, very happy with that, um, messed with us for a long, long time though, uh, so you can see why it's tedious to catch these fish. So yeah, that was 49 and a half, my record, 49 and a half. Okay, so it was half an inch, <coughs> half an inch shorter than my personal best. And in that half an inch came the uh, just over half a pound weight difference. Very nearly a personal best. I know there's a 33 pounder in here. 
I've seen I've seen one caught before. I know there's I know they're in here. But to catch another thirty two pounder, oh awesome. Very good start. We're going to fish at forty two now. So as you can see, this catfish technique is uh, not flawless, but it's consistent. But I'm also proving the fact that trophy hunting or unique hunting isn't a matter of slapping on a bigger hook. You've got to slap on the bigger hook, you've got to buy the more expensive baits, you've got to get the more expensive equipment. They're worth less than some of the smaller fish, so you've got to have a big net. And by God, you've got to be patient, if I haven't said that already. Trophy hunting on Fishing Planet is fun, but it's not that easy. Oh crap, I was eating. There we go. This one took quite early. Yeah, come on. Come on. Okay, 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 okay. This one's got a little bit of spunk. <laughs> I hate saying that, but I, there's no other word to describe it. It's got some balls, there we go. It's got some fight in him. You know, right after mentioning spunk, balls probably wasn't a good one. Yeah, we're going to go with he's got some fight in him, because he's... He's not wanting to come in, but he's just ran right towards me. His mistake. And look at that. Fought better than the 30 pounder, but again, it's only a 20 pound fish. There is no consistency to the power of these fish. <coughs> there is no consistency whatsoever. I swear the 20 pounders are the worst. Uh, since, since I started this video, the 20 have definitely been the worst. And I don't know why our float was lying like that. I think my bait may have landed on a fish. <laughs> that has happened before. But it didn't sink. Oh, we're being dragged again. Can I not have a minute to eat? Right, I'm going to need to extend to 44. Okay. A couple of feet further out from where I would usually go. Rain it into forty three. Okay, back down to forty one. much okay it's going against the current <coughs> okay it keeps pulling but that's it so we may be looking at a similar situation to that 32 pounder. A lot of teasing. 
And that's what makes it awkward to tell the difference. The big fish tease and the little fish nibble but don't bite. So do you take it in because it's a little fish that's hacking you off? Or do you leave it out because it's a big one that's just waiting? We are a bit far for this part of the river. I do like to be within 40 feet here. I mean, well, we were we were at, what, 33, 35 when we caught that last one? Seven feet is a big difference in a river. <laughs> it's like if you throw the big show from WWE into the water. It's quite a gap. I, I think we're going to have to call this a no cast. Yeah, there was nothing there. This might be way too close. Yeah, this is way too close. 36. Well, we're still within the hotspot. That's what's important. And I'm sorry if we're getting a little bored of just fishing the same spot. But as I said, trophy hunting is not just a matter of dunking it. I would usually have an, an entertaining conversation going on whilst fishing but none of my friends are online just yet mm. also not a sponsor be sure to pick up some after eight straw like mint and you like chocolate mm. but more importantly if you like after eights mm. these are so good mmm Christmas, man. Christmas. Tis the season to get fat. Mmm. Chocolate. -la 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 -la. Fuck that up. Mmm. Not seeing anything right now. A little bit of resistance, but nothing stupendous. There we go, 32. We're now closer than I'd like. Okay, let's just feed it out. Feed it out. Feed it out. Give it the leeway. Give it the leeway. Okay, a couple of big ripples, that's encouraging. So we may not walk away from this cast with nothing yet. First hour of the day though, definitely the best. Trying to add a couple of flicks to the and there it is being dragged left and right again. Ugh. See, that's one of the times we've just got to assume it's a little one. Absolutely nothing there. Okay, that's a much better cast. Yeah, right on the money! This is when I don't catch anything from this cast.
Oh yeah! A lot closer than expected, so it might not be a catfish. And it's not. <coughs> the hot spot has a good name for a reason. Okay, so we have made our money back. But I want to earn a little bit more. So I tell you what I'm gonna do. So I'm not boring you. I've just shown you how to go for trophies at the Neren. We weren't able to break my personal record, but we were about half a pound off doing so. Um, I'm going to go get some more money, because it occurred to me that may not be very interesting to... Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I said I would take you to Lone Star, but I've got previous videos. Maybe I'll do that at the start of the fir of the next one because it'll cost me nothing to go there. Actually, yeah, I'll do that. So I'm going to spend another day here at the Neren. I'm going to try and make some more money. And then in a little bit, I'm going to bring you the Lone Star Pit where you can catch smallmouth buffalo galore and uh, young channel catfish. And of course, I will uh, be getting the advanced license and we will be going trophy hunting in the lake where the monsters are kept. Quanchkin. The biggest carp, I believe. Is it, is it carp? Well, I know it's got the alligator gar. It's got the biggest blue catfish. It's got the biggest uh, flathead catfish. It's got some of the biggest small panfish in the world. Quanchkin is where we go for entertainment. And we are going to catch something mad. So, thank you for watching. This has been a pretty decent video, as I said. I was, ha I was happy we at least caught one trophy to catch more than one. Proves that, meh, I'm not a total jackass. I do have some idea of what I'm doing. Um, so, yes, stay tuned, subscribe. Um, if you're up for it, I promise you I wouldn't be a pain because I'm not consistent. But uh, if you want the odd fishing video, I'm your guy. Um... I'll see you later, stay tuned, and uh, I will see you in Texas at Lone Star later on today.